What's up, guys? I'm KB Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. Today, I'm going to make nasi minyak, a fragrant rice dish with a rich buttery flavor, spiced up with cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, star anise. In Malay, nasi minyak means oil rice, and this dish was once only served to the Malay royal family, but it has now become popular among the Malaysians of all backgrounds. It is often served uh, during the grand feasts, such as birthday parties or weddings, and is usually accompanied by curries such as beef rendang and ayam masak merah. Now, nasi minyak it is a well-liked dish in some other countries, also such as Indonesia and Singapore. But however, today this recipe will focus on how to prepare nasi minyak in Malaysia. Let's start by preparing the garlic and onion. I have some rough chopped onions and garlic over here. Use a blender to make it into a paste, or alternatively, you can use a mortar and pestle to do it. Next, cut the small onion into slices, ginger into thick pieces, and I'm going to use the knife to bash the ginger so that it will be able to release the flavor more effectively. After cooking with the rice, I will remove the ginger from the rice because I do not want to chew on it. Alternatively, you can finely chop it to mix with the rice or use ginger juice as the substitute. Besides that, I also add some pandan leaves to the rice to flavor the rice. Tie it into a knob so that it is easier to handle. And a stalk of curry leaves too. And also prepare some spices. These are the spices that is used in most of the Malay dishes: cinnamon, star anise, cardamom, and cloves. Now the rice. This is basmati rice, which is most suitable to make nasi minyak. Nasi minyak made with basmati rice is fluffy and soft. Soak it for half an hour before cooking it. To get the best results, if you use the normal rice, please do not soak it because the normal rice will become too soft after soaking. Let's cook the rice in a large skillet or a wok. Add some ghee. And also some vegetable oil. When the ghee is melted, add the sliced onion and sauté the onion until it becomes soft. Then add the four spices that I have prepared. When the spices turn aromatic, add the garlic. And onion paste that we have prepared. When it starts to turn dry, add the curry leaves. Now you can throw in the pandan leaves too. Let's get back to the rice. I've washed and soaked the rice for about thirty minutes. Pour it through a strainer to get rid of the water. And we are going to cook the rice with the combination of milk and water. This is the cup I used to measure the dry rice just now. I used two cups of rice, and over here I have three quarter cups of milk, and I top off the milk with water up to two cups. And plus a little extra to make up to about two and a half cups. That's the combination of water and milk I use to cook the rice. Now let's get back to the spices in the wok. Add the rice. Add 
over low heat coat each rice grain with the oil to ensure the rice will not stick together during cooking season it with salt a bit of sugar optional not too much add a mixture of water and milk into it and mix well add the raisins transfer it to an electric rice cooker and cook it until it is done When the rice cooker has stopped automatically, let it remain at the warm position for another 15 minutes before open the lid. Remove the ginger slices. Now I realize that it is easier if I use finely chopped ginger or just use ginger juice. Let's fluff the rice. Wow, the aroma is now filling up my whole kitchen. You can see that the rice grains are separated from each other clearly. It is also very fluffy. That's what I want. Transfer the rice to a serving bowl. And add the toppings for flavor as well as garnish. It's cashew nuts. fried onions and some coriander leaves that's how to make nasi minyak the malay pilau rice and it's best to serve with ayam masa merah in which the recipe is also on this channel and if you want to get a recipe for this rice i've included it in the description below the video don't forget to subscribe tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.